What's up Star Wars fans? Welcome back to another Star Wars action figure video. Um, it's kind of a review I guess if you've been following me for you know near on 10, 11 years that I've been doing this um, 10 and a half years now. Uh, you probably would have seen me review these at some point um, but it was a long time ago so probably really not getting the sort of quality um, from those old videos as you, as you would today being able to record in 4k and stuff so I decided to take a look at these two just with the sort of really exciting announcement that uh, Knights of the Old Republic was getting a remake and uh, will be released on the PlayStation 5 and later on PC next year um, so it'll be exclusive to the PlayStation 5 uh, for its first release and yeah then it will eventually be, be released on PC as well so just wanted to have a look at these two characters that I think would be absolutely fitting for the vintage collection. Um, you know, some slight upgrades would be fantastic. But uh, even going back a couple of years ago, um, Hasbro basically revealed that they would be re-releasing Darth Revan on a vintage card. And then for whatever reason, um, I don't recall an explanation, but for whatever reason, they decided to uh, can that idea. Um, just because this one had become so pricey on the secondary market. Um, as you can see here, I've given him a custom purple lightsaber to go with his red one. just really like both of them. I mean, it's not accurate at all. Um, I think it was literally um, a Mace Windu purple blade. <laughs> I just sort of coloured in a little bit. Yeah, totally not accurate, but just for the sake of the shelf, just having the purple and red blade crossed over. I just wanted to do that. That's just just something I wanted to do. And uh, yeah, Darth Malak here. Um, yeah, certainly could do with an update. I'd love to see one in Black Series, to be honest, in the six inch line to go with the Revan. We are uh, we have, and that is about to get an archive release. It's kind of a no brainer to give him uh, his counterpart, um, later Nemesis uh, Darth Malak. I think it's a no brainer. Um, you know, the reason a 3.75 update would be good, just because he has these old sort of crappy swivel elbows and they just, they don't cut it these days. Really don't cut it. Um, they're just, sort of, I always thought they were sort of clunky and awkward anyway. Um, and why some figures got them and why some didn't, I'll never understand. And things like that happens. Um, a little bit annoying, but it is what it is. It's still nice to have the character. And uh, yeah, I may have to boil that one up and pop him back in a little bit, bit neater afterwards. But that's not a big deal. It's an easy fix. Um, yeah. That's some more articulation, hip articulation. Just nice updates to this figure. Anything like torso, head, that's all fine to me. Like, that's kind of cool. I'm going to try and get a nice close-up of, of his head there. Even maybe doing a um, switch out head. So sort of pre, pre his sort of a, this happening, if I can get it off his head. And there's sort of cybernetic implants put in the bottom of his jaw there. So that's quite horrific really. But it makes it a cool, super cool figure though. So I'll just leave that off for the moment. No, I won't. I'll put it on. There we go. So it just sort of fits around the neck. It sits on the back there. Soft goods cape would be cool. I'll find a way to sort of get it out of that. That's probably not too difficult to be honest. If I really wanted to, I suppose I could slice that off and put a put one on it now. But uh, yeah, I'm not that invested in time to repair or change a figure from 2007. Yeah, it's it's still cool, man. Like I like the look of it. I do. I like the look of Darth Malak, especially side by side on the shelf with Revan, which we'll take a closer look at now. Um, so I'll just move that lightsaber out of the way. Basically has the same 
red lightsaber as Malik, which I know is also inaccurate. Um, I can't remember if he came with this one. I remember getting this guy carded, but I'm fairly sure he did come with this blade. So yeah, a little bit accuracies would, would be great to see. So you just got the uh, Revan mask over a bald head, which I can't remember whether that's canonically accurate. Um, Considering everyone wants Keanu Reeves to come come in and play Revan um, at some stage, wouldn't want to see Keanu Reeves have to shave his head bald. <laughs> but always love that mask, the old Mandalorian mask. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to playing the new remake of Knights of the Old Republic. Um, was never really a PC gamer and I was always PlayStation so I never had it on Xbox um, so I've really only dabbled with it in recent years um, through like the iOS release on iPad and uh, yeah I just found that too hard to navigate on an iPad um, so yeah I, I'm, I know the story I just I haven't played it so I'm sort of looking forward to to being able to play the story out um, and hopefully they sort of it's not sort of a classic, the classic sort of turn-based RPG, and it's more like a modern, you know, sort of sandbox RPG. I think that would be a lot nicer, but who knows? I mean, they did say it was a remake and not an update or a remaster, so... Um, yeah, figures, figure, this figure's legs literally only has the legs that move, so no extra articulation in the ankles or knees there. So yeah, that would be nice to be updated, but the rest of it's fine. You know, ball hinges in the shoulders and elbows, swivels in the wrists. Um, yeah. So yeah, who else is excited for the KOTOR remake? I know a lot of people don't really care. Um, you know, there's always the people that say, well, it's not canon, so why does it matter? Um, you know, still can be a good story, you know. You know the old saying, don't let the truth get in the way of a good story. Um, yeah, just enjoy it. Use your imagination and, uh, you know, it's so far removed from the Skywalker saga and any stories we have that you could just, you know, make it your own personal headcanon anyway. But yeah, I'd love to see these two make a return to three and three quarter inch updated forms. Um, I do wonder whether they're sort of cancellation of Revan from the Vintage Collection was because they um, were, were, were making plans to redo KOTOR, so... And uh, good news, EA isn't touching it, so, <laughs> so... I think that'll make a lot of people happy if uh, EA aren't going to touch it, that's good. So... We'll see what the future brings. Um, yeah, let me know what you think, you know, these... These are cool figures. Uh, yeah, like I said, reviewed them before. If there's any other sort of old Expanded Universe Legends figures you'd love to see re-reviewed, I'd, I'd love to do them. Um, you know, being in my collection for a long time now, it's uh, it's nice to sort of get these older figures out and have a have a good look and sort of refresh the memory on them a little bit. And uh, yeah, definitely appreciate some input and feedback in the comments. Please sound out. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. That would be awesome. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. I've been doing Star Wars figure reviews for over 10 years now, so... <laughs> I, I, I kind of like to think I know my stuff. Um, find myself to be a little bit of a connoisseur of my action figure knowledge. I sometimes forget how to do normal day-to-day -day things because I have dedicated my brain to more memory more more Star Wars knowledge than I should real life stuff you know <laughs> that was a mouthful all right folks thank you very much for watching stay tuned for more videos coming up until then may the force be with you always